So the word regenerative and regenerative agriculture is getting quite popular as a replacement for sustainability or sustainable agriculture. And I'm often asked, what does regenerative mean? So sustainability is the practice of looking at your resource use and working to limit it, whether it's waste, water, energy, or other negative externalities. Regenerative takes that a step further. So going beyond just reducing your negative externalities and actually generating positive externalities. So one thing we're, we're trying to do at East Fork is uh, think about that paradigm. What are, what are the things that we're doing that not only are reducing our negative externalities, reducing our energy use or water use, but generating a resource that our communities or the environment can benefit from. So we're kind of at the beginning of this journey of really articulating what regeneration means at East Fork. Uh, but it's an exciting concept, and I would say our biggest impact through our regenerative practices so far has been at the community level. Uh, we work really closely with our neighbors on water use and pesticide use and um, also community resources like food for food banks and things like that. And that's just low-hanging fruit. I think that any company can be regenerative by putting good work and good efforts out into the world, whether it's donations to a nonprofit as a portion of their sales or uh, helping out a neighbor. I think that's a great place to start. The next layer of regeneration, and I think the one that's becoming more uh, popular in regenerative agriculture is thinking about ways we can use our soils as a carbon sequestration bank, uh, or use our practices as a way to actually increase uh, water that's available for other use, uh, food production as opposed to suck water up for our own cash crop. Uh, regenerative agriculture, it's, it's a buzzword. Uh, it's an exciting one. Uh, and I'm excited to help uh, work through what it means for us in our industry.